هاسیاری ها یا دوگی دوگی های سیاری ها مای گاد I don't want to continue this game. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. So she's so she's shy. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her her mind seems to be completely different. Hold up. Mm. Sorry, I have ice cream be completely different I need a spoon I have a spoon in here somewhere where is it right here okay it's just that that, that this kind of story I don't really feel nice putting suicide in my poems it's the kind that challenges you to look at life in, from a strange new perspective Horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world's full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. And then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? What the fuck is this game I'm playing right now? Not again. I'm sorry. It's okay, Yuri. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. My whole body gets in- I could not read that. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's- I don't really think you need to worry. <sighs> that just means that you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's, well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? Holy fuck. Y yes. I mean, you don't have to, but <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book and then I had put it in into my bag. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah, are you sure? You seem a bit impressive. A princive, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's not like that I want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right, I open the book and st whoops. I still understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's... Sorry, I'm coping with the death of Siyori by eating ice cream. It's as if I feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe it's a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri in the is in the corner of my eye I'm reading that I, I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book I glance over it looks like she's reading from my book instead sorry <laughs> fucking hell this game is creepy Yo, you really apologize a lot dude don't you I do I don't really mean to sorry I had a girlfriend just like that, bro. I mean... <laughs> that was actually funny. That was actually funny. <laughs> this should be right. This should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. And once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm... Is in the way and is in the way so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open I guess it kind of makes it dis difficult to turn the page here Aww. 
I just forgot that I just saw Sayori. Okay. It's fine. I, 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 I got Yuri. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left of the side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. This is nice. You know, it's actually very comforting after just seeing what I saw. This ice cream's helping. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to the to but I'm holding it like this. We're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually quite distracting kind of distracting me. Which it's as if I can feel the warmth of the Yuri's face. And she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? To turn the page? Ah, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Yeah, it's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? <laughs> I don't mind to be patient if you, if it takes you a bit longer. Yeah, I suck at reading in real life. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been po so patient with me. Yeah. Oh, my blanket's coming off my chair. Sorry, I, r I put a pillow under my bl under my chair and then a blanket on my back of the chair on the back of my chair so in that i just felt it coming off and i feel the pillow coming off too or like sliding off okay thanks we continue reading yuri no longer asks me if i'm ready to turn the page instead i just assume that she finishes a page before me so i turn it by my own valet valet i don't know we continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of her, of the page, letting it flutter over her as, over her side as she as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Hmm. Huh? No, don't relate me to that character to this character at all. I'm definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guess guesses things she says and all that. Ah. Uh, that's what you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. Mm -hmm. Who didn't even get that far yet? So I don't know why, why that came up to, into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Yeah. Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if she... As if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and patient practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Corruption? Hey, Monica. Did something happen just now? She was blushing. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Hold up. I'm fixing my headphones. Are you worried? Are you worried about her? Oh, not, not, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems to get with each other? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up and make a mental note of where I left off in the book. Then I slip it back. Then I slip it back into my bag. Misuki. I don't like Monica. I told Misuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Fair. <laughs> well, it's about that. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. 
I just want, I just don't, didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <laughs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm still shaken by it. I don't, I, I age restricted the video, so you probably can't even see it. But just know, Coyote's dead. And I'm the cause of it. She's not dead anymore. Because the game sw Okay, so basically what happened... She asked me out. I said no, because I like Yuri. And then the game went all creepy and weird. And then we went to check up on Coyote, and she, um... Committed non-alive. And it deleted my save file, so I can't go back. And, um, it... It loaded me into a new game that's corrupted. And it's all weird. And Coyote isn't here. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. People can try, that's what, but that's about it. I told you you weren't like, gonna like it. I like it. Now that I actually like, I'm starting to like it a little bit more. I'm starting to like her poems. I, I, I like this one. I know it's the same, but I like it. I am. Why are you so convinced that you don't like it? Well, that I don't like it. Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about, simp about simple writing is that it just puts some more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then j made it fall flat on purpose. It's just the same thing. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor with her that with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nisuki's feeling proud that if Nisuki's feeling proud then I won't take that away from her. Alright, Monica. Hi corruption. Having a good time so far? Oh yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or some things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just letting it with- and just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh, don't worry, Corruption. We're all a little embarrassed today, don't you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm. Great job, Corruption. I was gonna say, oh, in my head while reading it. It seemed, it, it's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go, to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy, it's, e it's easiest for me to keep everyone's expect ex expectations low. That way it, it always counts when I put in some effort. Dang, I'm cracking my neck. Like Coyote. Sorry. Oh God, sorry. Uh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from... I don't know. I don't mean like that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she just... That she's just totally given up on people. 
she spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. Sorry, I'm like kind of having no emotion and just remembering. Ew, that looks like a tongue. As I put it in my mouth, <laughs> like the fuck. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she used to be indulged like that. She must be really starved for so for social interaction. So I don't, so don't blame her for coming up, for coming on her on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. So then the door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did any did I miss anything? No, not really. Well, we start. We all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I guess. So I'm more glad that you took all the time that time you needed. All right, thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. It doesn't mean I always have. I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh no, but he wasn't looking at me. I don't think this is. This is, is this the same one? I don't think it is. Hole in wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glare at my surroundings. But he, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are these others in the in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? I sound the sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks in my ears. The room begins to crunkle, crunkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before I, it reaches my lungs. Holy shit. Dude. She died to hanging. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. The air I breathed it. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. He's right here. Swallowing my fears, I ban brandish my pen. So what do you think? Mm, it's very free form, if you, if that's what you call it. Sir, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh -huh, that, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That's not what she originally wrote. That's probably not what she originally wrote. That is, a lot of poems have been putting in phrases on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that it's kind of an infamy recently. It's been influencing my poems a little bit in infamy. Yeah, something like that. Epiphany, sorry. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it keep kind of coming, but because it's kind of coming out strongly, coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to do to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Anything, another way to think about it is this. If you if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark, a big dark puddle of ink. So just try to move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yuri. Hi, Yuri. As Yuri read, reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. <laughs> hey, what is that? Did I say that aloud? Oh, exceptional. Expect. 
inspectional. That's crazy. <laughs> Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I, it, he's going to hate me. Um, he really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. That's, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of Im imagery and metaphors indicate that you've written a lot of poetry before. Yeah, I have. In a whole different universe. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. That, this is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at the poem at my poem again. Well, I know that. Oh, I don't know. I just mean, um... <laughs> Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem, as if she's breaking them, breaking it down more thoroughly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the this is the reason I was able to tell. Good ice cream. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of un of new writers. It's just the same shit. I also hope that everyone else is in the club gives you a vulnerable feedback. The seeking can be a little biased, but biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Nasuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dream dreamily. As if it's a rare opportunity for her. Oh no, it normally it it said that before, which it's hell, itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Uh, I don't know if this is the same one. Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate between the amber glow bathing it must be this one the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time lost yet to be replaced by the sticking sick, sickening blue green hue of the future i bathe yes this is the same one breathing air of the present but living in the past The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm sorry if I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. It's literally cursive. What? I wasn't thinking about that at all. Well, it's not cursive. It's some other type of writing. Yeah, I noticed that's not cursive like a long time ago. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Uh, well, I just don't really script r very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. I'm gonna turn off the light since I'm playing a horror game. Is my chair still squeaking now? Kinda, I need to loosen it. Not loosen it, I need tighten it. And that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Dude, I feel so fucking creepy. It's so dark in my room. Even though it's short, it's, it was really descriptive. Eh. Eh. It wasn't too short. I usually write long poems. Not at all. <laughs> I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. I don't know if her face just did something creepy. I wasn't looking. Since this is our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Really? Oh, I can skip. Eh. There's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Corruption. Ah, me too. Aw, that was sweet. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. 
Whoops. <sighs> yeah, I can't skip it. Okay. The notes were just wrong for a second. The notes were just wrong for a second. Holy shit. It's as if everyone is judging me for the, my Metacore writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's why I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Asuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their per respective poems. As they read in ten ten dam ten dam, I don't know. I Nisuki's eye eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri sat, smiles sadly. What's with this language? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Nisuki dismissively returns the poem to her to the to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss my symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was just trying to say some. I was trying to say something nice. It. You mean you have to try to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't. But it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if you're looking for looking for it, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Corruption did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give me give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Yeah. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Corruption liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Misuki suddenly stands up. Music stopped. Oh, I didn't really realize you were so you were so invested in trying to impress a new member. Okay, okay, that normally does that. I forgot. Whew. Dude, last time the music stopped, um, yeah. Eh, that's not what I meant, I'd, I'd, you're just, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Corruption appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh, and how do you know I, he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I, no, if I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh, well, you know what? <laughs> I wasn't the one whose boost gradually grew to be a size bigger as soon as corruption started showing up. Nasuki! Oh, Nasuki, that's a little. That doesn't involve you. This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that, you really act as as young. You really act as long as young as you do, Nisuki. And me, look who's talking. You want to be EG? What is happening? Me, look who's talking. You want to be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for you, for too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See, that's uh, that saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get their and get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. Dude, I don't like this. It's so dark in my room. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can com counterblade your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful. Nasuki's going crazy. 
Holy shit. Yeah, go on. Like corruption here, everything you really think. I'm sure it'll be over the. He I'm sure it'll be head over heels for you after this. It suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if I, as if she just noticed I was standing here crushing. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did I get? Masuki, you're a bitch. Let me pick Yuri. Let me pick Yuri. Oh, hi, Monica. Hey, Corruption. Why don't we step outside for a little, for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It, it's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside after they're once they're done yelling. So president I am, right? I can't even comfort my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to do to be a little bit more assert assertive sometimes. Dude, that was crazy. That never happened. But I never had I've never they never have said a cuss word in here. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with uh, with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. And Selena Nisuki runs out of the classroom. Oh. I've never seen Nisuki cry. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Oh, what does Yuri do? I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's are. Oh my God. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. Oh my god, I've never seen her like that. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Misuki. Or did. Corruption. Don't pl please don't hate me, please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Misuki will forget about all about it tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me as if, like, she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I'll, I should be the first one out. I'll wait for you when you're done. I wait. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It seems. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not like that. It's not like that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book of corruption. It would be just embarrassing for with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really... What? Look at, I don't know if she's normally like that. Depression. Okay. Um. Clouds. Enjoy. Why do you. Okay. Bunny. Kios. Um. Sweet. Whoops. Hi, Yuri. Or it's not doing anything in anyway. there. Friday. What is it doing? Lust. Kawaii. Sugar. What? Party. Stop. Playground. Fluffy. Why? Candy. 
What is Yuri? Another day passes and it's time and it's time for the club meeting already. I wonder what they're gonna say about it. Entering the classroom, the usual scene gets greets me. Welcome back, corruption. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me, but or if it's Yuri's expression, but the way of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Um, Yuri glances over his shoulder, looking around in the room. Nusuki is able to is reading manga at her desk, and surprisingly, Mon Mon Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. About yesterday, I I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Minosuke as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've been, only been here. <laughs> Sorry, I got chills. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way that you can be that there's no way you could be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Corruption. Let's say those kinds of things, frankly. So frankly, they make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. But I'm really glad that you gl that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit more brighter with you around, and uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just, hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Nisuki is addressing her. No, n no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I'm mean, it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? What are you? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Nisuki, about yesterday. I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean anything of the things I said, and I'll do my best to try to stay to to be, to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do some? Did you do something yesterday? Jeez, whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it's nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about th the little things, aren't you? What did Nasuki do? Not Nasuki. What did Monica do? But I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I I was afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> No, 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 nothing, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of, we're kind, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Musuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I don't trust Monica. I really don't trust Monica. I hope you guys aren't worried or anything. Nah, when Musuki was, I was not. <laughs> It'll take you so long anyway. Uh, well, my last period was study hall. S to be honest, I kind of walked and lost track of time. That makes so sense, though. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as, as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but... I'm still not very really good yet, still. That must require a lot of dedication, so I'm still impressed. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should pay. You should play us something for us sometime. <laughs> That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Dude, this ice cream is like alcohol. It's actually helping me grieve and just calm down. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't lay you down, Corruption. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was one... Fuck. 
I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to this whole to the whole club or me, or just me. In, ca in that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. No, not really. I choose not to bring up that the three of us talked about. Besides, Nasuki has already run off to off into the closet corruption. Um. Since your compliments put me in a good mood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. I was wondering if you could, if you would like to spend time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. And last time I got to attach to someone, something happened. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Head. I'm being a little too forced, why aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't start stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you with so, uh, see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy out of her book. Pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Out of a bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I ma make some tea first? No, no, not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make me reading make my reading time here better here any better is a nice nice cup of tea not to mention for yourself as well yuri stands up and makes her way into the closet i follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf the kind the kind with the filter inside can you hold the, hold this for a second sure yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches me in and also fetches an electric kettle I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll get some water. I walk past. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking manamers. Min I don't know what that word just said. Especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears a legend and myth mythological. I don't know. Okay, can, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be back, right back. I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher on hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? <laughs> no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling a water pitcher to get to make tea. Oh, okay, sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it won't take long. Is something holding her up? Hurting, holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to look, go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be is the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Haha. <laughs> Haha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Yeah. A sharp inhale. Like someone is sticking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Whoa, what was just... I don't like this game. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Crashing, do you like a long tea? Oh uh, yeah, anything is fine. I'm very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. And now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I, s I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for y others. Even if I, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything in that case you'll only be even more impressed uh, perhaps I will Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves holy fuck <sighs> to my surprise she starts humming a little to herself you must be in a good mood now is that so? I, w I was letting it show and you noticed I was doing a little bit of, think of thinking and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's when it's you around, who's around anyway. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying worrying about me corruption. 
It's very enduring. That's Yuri. Yuri wasn't kidding. I need. I need my. I need my alcohol ice cream. It's not actual alcohol. It's chocolate. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a, tea, a cup of tea for each of us. Corruption. I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? You know what's that? What's that? It's just a little bit easier on my back. I can read with a back against the against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to help to manage it. Is that so? No wonder why that's that is. It's most likely my uh, my your posture, right? Always hunched over like like that while you read while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag. It's a bag full of chocolate candies. I take I take it since I'll it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I are then sit against the wall, teacups on at our sides. As if in sync, we we assume the same reading posture at the same time. Each holding one half of the book, except this time. What? Our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see you too well. Yuri slides closer under my shoulders until our shoulders are t touching. How am I supposed to focus on, on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... <laughs> when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me a teacup. He hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book. I end up in a, in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I, now I don't... Now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She, wear, she wears her intense reading put ex expression as I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. I'm oh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, that's that's okay. I won't take any. Oh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the paper pages. Oh, you're right. I don't even. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. Please tell me I can take it and feed it to her. Please. Are you sure? Of course. Please. Wow. Wow, Yuri, you're beautiful. <laughs> She holds it so that I don't have a, any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is actually uh, Yuri is already already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy, pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. What was I saying? She doesn't even look away. She. I said this was gonna happen. She simply parts her lips, as if the situation was completely natural, but that means I can't stop here. I infinitely <laughs> place the chocolate in her mouth, just like that Yuri closes her lips over it. Yep. Yeah. Yuri's expressions. <laughs> Aww. Aww. That is so cute. Yuri's expression is suddenly changed. Did, did I just... Yuri looks at me <laughs> like she... <laughs> I'm sending this to my friends. That's cute. Aww. Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, crushing. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Corruption. Suddenly, what? Tricks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. She good? Corruption. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can't you feel it, Corruption? Yuri suddenly places my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Is she gun is she dead? It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you.
Ice cream. <laughs> Dude. It's time to share poems. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Here he smiles and takes a deep breath. I like it. I like just holding it. I mean, <laughs> the poem turned out good. It's a, well, there are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I don't like this game. That was creepy as fuck. It feels like anything written t by you is a treasure. <laughs> it came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. This is different. This is really different. A wheel. A rotating wheel. What the fuck? There's markings all over it. What is that? that is a rotating wheel turning in exo grinding blothered blothed I don't know linear green gr I don't know falling sky seven holy stakes a, do a docked ship a portal to another world a thin hope shield what is this? Breathing pay, breathing prayer, breathing sky. What the fuck? A time devouring prayer connects the sky and forty gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing, whatever that is, breathing bowl. Breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing, 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 breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind, ha my ha my end has been a little impactive today lately, so I had to take it out on my pen, on your pen, on my pen. That is a a pin fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it, it home for safekeeping. And I um I really like the way it writes. See, I wrote this poem with it. Why did the music stop? And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. Why did I just? Can you pretend like this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. Aww. Corruption, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to tell you this, but I don't think you have a choice. I have a choice. Dude, I thought her eyes just went weird. It's kind of dangerous for you to be spending so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri... Yeah, I saw. I know. The sharp one! Oh my god! So yesterday, I spent time with Yuri. And there was a knife that she keeps around that's extremely, extremely sharp. And... Wow. Isn't that kind of messed up? Yeah, she's excited. She likes them. She told me that it, when she was, she told me, um, don't think I'm weird, but I like knives. I collect them. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets a kind of high from it. It might even, what the fuck? But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it to, all to you. 
so I think if you keep your distance, that probably that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I had I at least I at least had it to had it together in the head, and didn't know how to treat my club members. But anyway, dude, I'm gonna get another suicide hotline on this video. Jesus, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. This is different. Save me. The colors they won't. Bright, beautiful col colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise it won't stop. Okay, so this is the same one, but it's just weird. I'm putting a blanket over myself. I don't feel safe. What the fuck? The noise it won't stop. Violent, grating, I don't know, speaking, screeching, privet, sign, consign, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage, endless, I don't know, of meaningless, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage. I don't like this game. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Sorry, I know it's kind of it's trapped. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a different decision. But whatever happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? I can hear you. That's my right and my that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Help me. I only trust Nasuki now. Well, it's not really any worse than your last one, but I can't really say it's any better either. Thank you. Pew what? Well, anything like anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most most critical. Moist critical. Hey, what makes you... Maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well, then keep practicing, and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, a uh, Something tells me Nasuki completely missed the point. That, that make sure... Then just make sure that you find a little more of influence from people. From everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri... A little bit, aren't you? I mean, I know you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. But, you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. At poems, I mean. <laughs> so you should really just... So you should really try and, and try to learn something or you'll get never get better. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. I remember this one. It's the same one. There's nothing wrong with it. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was t way too short. I just wa I'm just warming up. <sighs> huh. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, no, of course, no, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ig ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure, like collecting knives. Sorry. Something that you're afraid of, people find out they'll make fun of you or think less of you. Mm that just make people stupid who cares what someone likes 
as long as they're not hurting anyone what and what and if it makes them happy I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things such as two of the girls in this in this very club whom I respectfully won't name kind of ironic ironic that even in one place of comfort I can't even have people respect me Jeez, now you're making me complain too much what did I do <laughs> for what it's worth I respect you well I guess that I guess thanks but it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more so whatever we're done sharing so you can leave now okay I don't know if I want to but I don't really want to say it, no either things I like about Papa I like Papa I like when Papa comes home early cooks me dinner, gives me allowance, spends time with me, asks me about my friends, da 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 da, whatever that is, asks me about anything, gives me lunch money, comes home back before sundown, cooks, gives me privacy, I didn't do that, it was the idea. doesn't tell me how to dress, doesn't comment on my friends, doesn't comment on my hobbies, comes home without waking me up. COD. Keeps food in the house. Uses her inside voice. His. Leaves his st leaves my stuff alone. Accidentally drops coins in the couch. Is too tired to notice me. What? Is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Hi, Monica. God, the fucking... What the hell? This is Yori. And that's Yori. <laughs> um, that's the picture of... Yori in the room have them doing something we're all done reading at each other's poems right we have something we need to go over why was okay my mouse is back there's the audio damn we have something we need to go over today so if everyone could come and sit in front of the room is this about the festival or well, sort of uh, do we really have to do something for the festival it's not like we can put together anything good for in just a few days we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of g getting any new members it's a concern of mine as well i don't really do well for with last minute preparations don't worry too m so much we're going to keep it simple okay look i know everyone's been a little more lively ever since corruption joined and we've started with some club activities but this isn't the time for us to become complete complacent we still only have a few i have four members and the festival is all, is our only real chance to find more you know what's so great about getting new members anyway <sighs> why does it have coyote the last time we see coyote why does it have that i don't really like it we've already had enough to be considered an official club more members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Nisuki. I don't think you're looking at it. At it. At it. The way. The right way at all. Don't you. Don't you th want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings that, y that brought you here in the first place? The literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they do can't that like they can't do anywhere anywhere else. I've been recording for an hour. I'm gonna stop it here. Um, I don't know how I feel about this game anymore. Um, I'm definitely not gonna I'm not gonna age restrict this video, but it's most definitely going to get the suicide hotline thing. Um. I'm gonna post more, I guess. I'm gonna see you guys later.
Bye.